Hi everyone, uh, welcome uh, back today. We have a very nice um, Red Sonia statue. Uh, it's the exclusive version from SciShow uh, Collectibles. Um, and um, before we go into depth, um, let's go back in time and we can look at the uh, semi-unboxing uh, before we start. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, this piece has some controversy, but I think you will be uh, impressed with it. Okay, so hang on for the ride. Okay, so uh, this is the box. It's a colored box with a picture of Red Sonia on the front. And then if we spin it around, this is one of the thinnest boxes I've ever seen from SciShow. There's not much to see from the side. Let's see. The back, there's nothing. And the other side is going to be the same. Okay. So basically, you've just got the front of the box with a picture of Red Sonia. And of course, uh, Dynamite Comics. And that's it for the box. And now we'll, we move down to what's inside the box. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. It's pretty wide, but not very thick. So what we've got here is the base. We've got the regular hand axe. The cape. And then the figure itself. The head. The sword hand. Scabbard, and of course the all-important exclusive head. Okay, so let's get back to the statue and we'll set that up. Okay, so we have the base set up, and you can see it's a helmet. Um, it's on some form of rock base with snow, uh, half-broken shield. It's pretty simple. Okay, uh, you can see the helmet. It's very detailed, very nice. Okay, so now we'll put the figure on. Okay, so this is with the body on the base. Uh, it's fitting nicely. It's a two-pegger on the left and right foot. Okay, so that's what it looks like. The fit is pretty good. And I'll zoom in for you guys to see the chainmail bikini. Okay, and then you've got that. Alright, let's put on the other part. Okay, so we have the left regular hand or forearms with the axe okay nothing special there you will attach it um, it's got magnets on the bottom okay so we're gonna put that on here and voila all right now we will attach the other arm hand okay so here we have the right hand arm forearm uh, it's got blood on the blade. I don't know if what material the blade is made out of. Uh, feels metallic, but I've run a, a um, magnet to it, and it is not metal. Um, the magnet did not stick, so maybe the it's made out of aluminum or something. Uh, whatever it is. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we'll attach it here. Again, it's magnet, so. we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is attach the head and the other stuff. Okay, so we have the head. Uh, let me zoom in for you guys to see. It's well sculpted. Ok, 
Okay, so we will be inserting the head. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, now we will do the uh, belt with the scabbard and the knife. Uh, very nice. The head is a little bit darker than the body, so ideally it would be the same shading and color, but it's not, but no big deal right now. Okay, here's the scabbard with the knife. Um, this is some form of uh, leather material, gives it a little bit more authenticity. Uh, the one thing I would say about this statue is um, the display, I guess versatility, is really nice. Um, you can do something like this, and then that's it. You don't need the bell, the cape, or the switch out hand. So if you like uh, your statues to be bare minimum for display, you can do something like this, and then, you know, this will work. Okay, all of the other accessories, it's nice. So we'll be doing the belt just to let you guys see. Alright, this is one of the most versatile statues that uh, SciShow has um, produced. In that you can display Red Sonia in any way you like. Okay, so we'll be putting on the belt now. All right, so now we have the belt on. Uh, as you can see, it's got a knife here. And circling around back. The scabbard. This is nice. You can have it as loose here as, um, or as uh, tight as you want. Uh, the only concern about this belt is the leather strap. It's very thin and I don't think it's going to be durable enough. The scabbard is pretty heavy because um, it's made out of uh, polystone or resin or whatever you want to call it. So I don't think it will hold over time. Uh, you may have to replace the leather belt. Um, definitely you want this statue in a temperature control room because if it's too hot the leather will um, you know, of course die off over time. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Uh, I'll let you guys see. So with this statue, I think I would want to display it like this. I have yet to put on the cape, but um, you can get away with something like this. And it's pretty cool. And she's pretty tall with the uh, axe hand all the way up. I think the uh, Sasha always says it's um, around 27 inches. So you want to make room for that. Very nice sculpt overall. Okay, so now we'll do it, the uh, switch out hand with the exclusive ones. So hang on. Okay, so here we have the exclusive uh, switch out left hand. Uh, it looks like it's a um, severed head of a frost giant. It's nicely detailed. Very nice. And as you can see, you know, blood. It's been severed. Okay, so same as before, you have magnetic um, attachment. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the exclusive head back on. It's pretty heavy, so when you put it on here, just be careful that it doesn't scratch something up. Okay, I think it's in. Hmm, doesn't seem like it's fitting right.
Okay, there you have it. Um, with the left arm attached, and you get the exclusive head. This thing is well worth it. It's so detailed. Okay. There you go, and this is how I would like to have mine displayed uh, without the cape, but I will put the cape on for you guys. Uh, I think it's it's really cool. Uh, it's mixed media, well done. It's just that uh, I like it this way. There's less going on uh, with Sonya, and you can appreciate the awesome sco um, scope better. So now what we'll do is we'll put on the cape. Okay, this is what the cape looks like. Uh, it's pretty wide. Uh, it's made of some form of cloth with nice, um, you know, uh, dirtiness to it. Uh, like Sonya has been fighting frost giants. And then uh, you've got some kind of fur and this fake uh, leather. And then uh, you have the chain and uh, the way you connect the chain is if you can see that gold looking big chain right there. So when you put it on, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to find that one right there. That little hook. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the chain and you're going to hook it over into that hook. Okay, so we'll put the cape on. Okay, before I put on the cape. I wanted you guys to see the uh, the 360 of Sonya. Um, so if you choose to display her without the cape, uh, it would also be nice. Okay, so that's what we have. It's an all overall very nicely sculpted statue. Okay, and we'll go back the other way. I would prefer it without the cape, it's just, um, it's cleaner. Uh, with the cape it's got too much going on. It's just give you an alternative um, display. Like I said, uh, this is one of the most versatile um, pieces um, for display wise. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see um, from the video. The um, statue is pretty dark. Um, I think that's one of the complaints on the statues um, forum and I don't have a problem with it and I'll tell you why at the end uh, it depends on your perspective <laughs> if you will um, so and I'll tell you why ideally um, yeah you want it like a supermodel nice and clean um, but I think I know a reason why SciShow did it this way um, but then again, you know, they could have messed up like they do with some other stuff. So that's what we have with no cape. Man, I can't believe how nicely this thing sculpted. I think it's done by Tony Cipriano. Uh, I think he's the one who did Gambit also. And that's one of my favorite pieces. To pad the paint app is a little bit darker than I like. But uh, no big deal as um, I will explain why the uh, SciShow may have done it this way. Okay, so uh, let's do the cape and then um, you know we can talk about the piece some more. So hang on. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the cape. Very nice. Um, no complaints here. It's just that uh, I like to have it um, without the cape and then you know put it on whenever I feel like. Um, changing up the display and then let me show you how to um, where the connector is uh, for you guys who have questions about how to connect it um, basically what you want to do is as I've said before uh, there's that hook right there where you can hook it into the pin that um, it's on the um, cape itself 
and then they can just um, they come off and then this is just extra length okay and then the proper way um, based on the sideshow pictures is to have the chain run down across her chest like that okay but you can have it up you know maybe have it up there or something so and the only thing I'm worried about is um, with this uh, you have to be careful because the chain is metal so uh, it may scratch up the paint so just be careful with that and then as you can see um, the cape uh, it's wide enough uh, that you can you know maybe put it back there or something okay and then um, we spin around that's what it looks like so you know it's not um, I guess as clean um, I guess setup wise but you can um, like I said move the chain around so there you go and it's got this nice fur thing but my I guess she um, Red Sonia went and got some cheap fur because it's been coming out on me and look at that spin this around there it is so the cape does add a lot to it uh, it tells a story um, you know she's in the northern climes and it's cold of course you know only in the comic books where you can wear a chainmail bikini with hardly any clothes at all and you're fighting frost giants so and I don't see any goosebumps on her okay so um, with this you can do that uh, which will hide the sword so you don't want to do that and then we swing around here and the scabbard's down there okay so let's do a 360 for you guys and then I guess uh, I'll talk about some more about this piece and there are some problems uh, depending on your perspective you may or may not be able to overlook it so hang on we'll do a 360 first okay guys so uh, this will be a 360 of Red Sonia with the cape on uh, I have to admit the cape is pretty cool um, but it's a little bit busy uh, I'll switch it on and off uh, depending if I have this um, out on display outside the case um, because um, you know it can collect dust and everything um, when you first get it the cape's going to be all creased up but uh, over time within a few minutes um, all of the crease should be gone when you put it on so there you have it uh, it's wide it's really nice yeah like I said before this thing adds a lot of value and um, versatility to the kind of display that you can do okay so go back this way very nice Okay, so let's do a little bit of a zoom in and uh, I'll give you, I guess, my opinion on what I think about the piece overall. So. Okay guys, let's have a more than a 360 look around and then uh, I'll tell you what my big problem with this one. Well, not really big, I don't have an issue with it, um, depending on perspectives, okay? So you can see nice tone definition. Uh, scantily clad uh, the sword is really nice like I said it, it feels like it's made out of some form of metal but it's not because I put a magnet up to it uh, maybe aluminum or something um, and then you have the knife right there the chain is um, metal so that's what you've got uh, I did not find any flaws on the statue. It's uh, I'm a little bit surprised because the last few um, that I've gotten, there's some slight paint flaws. Although you may or may not be able to see this, the eye, the right eye on Red Sonia, it's got some red to it. Um, so I may have to contact SciShow and see if I can re have it replaced. 
and the head is a little bit darker than the body but um, I guess I can uh, see if they can replace that and then this is the giant head uh, that is a really nice like you know I guess a dead person's eye after it's been <laughs> severed off the head anyway and then the back you can see the blood here and then of course red Sony has red hair uh, the hair isn't as red as I would like it to be it's red enough it's got this orange orange reddish look to it uh, which is okay um, no big deal but having it redder would be nicer going down to the boots um, I really like this helmet here um, I don't know if you can see it get the horns which is really nice this is one of the nicer bases um, very simple but nice you got dirty snow See the reason I like not displaying it this with the cape is because uh, you get more details. This is a masterpiece scope by uh, Cipriano, so I feel like having the cape on just uh, you know hides so much, and then everything else is polystyrene. Okay, and then let's give it a little bit more light. As you can see, the head is a little bit darker than the body. Uh, the paint on the body is almost ashen like uh, this is natural light mm -hmm. it's not bad okay so let me zoom in on the eyes for you guys on the giant's head uh, as you can see the eyes look like he's dead <laughs> as he should be with his head locked off uh, the mouth is nicely done In the back you can see blood from the severed head. Okay. Now like I said before, I don't want to beat it to death, but with the cape on, uh, you're losing a lot of um, fine sculpting that uh, Cipriano did for this piece. Uh, so that's why I tend to favor having no cape. Um, but it's a option for you. Okay, and I can't complain too much about the scope for this piece. It's really nice, uh, nice touch, and you know, getting the dirty uh, cape due to the snow. Okay, so there you go. And then let's have a closer look uh, without the cape, and then we'll go to the reviews. Okay. So hang on while I take off the cape. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit more um, detailed look uh, without the cape so you can appreciate the, I guess you can call it genius scope of this piece by um, Tony Cipriano. Okay, we have the base up to the leg. Really nice. Uh, unfortunately, the paint, while it is perfect, um, the direction that SciShow went with this, it's kind of disappointing uh, because it's a little bit too dark and uh, I'll touch up on that point. Okay, so As you can see, there isn't much flaw in the paint application itself. Okay, Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys something which uh, you know, I'm not a pervert or anything, but I just noticed this. If you, when you get the statue, and you know, you zoom in on her buttock. Let's see, we we'll did this. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, if you look closer, uh, she doesn't really have any underwear on underneath that flap. Uh, I guess they didn't paint it, or they forgot to paint it in. If you look uh, closer, I don't think I can get my camera in there. But at the uh, back right there, you see something um, like um, a, like a G-string would be, and then this G-string would come down here. Uh, I don't have, I don't think they had had G-strings back in the days, 
Um, so I don't know, maybe SciShow uh, didn't think to put it in because it's not that important and nobody would care. But if you look closely when you get the statue right in there, uh, she doesn't really have any underwear on. So she's going buck naked uh, with two flaps, one in the front and one in the back. And, you know, not that anybody would care. But uh, that's just something overlooked, I think. Um, so it would have been better had they uh, put some paint down there. But like I said, it's no big deal. And the boots, uh, I love this thing with the boots. I think this is the few times that uh, SciShow did not go with high heels, which is kind of ridiculous. All of their statues have some form of high heels, even, you know, the um, Catwoman that's coming out. She's got high heels, so I don't know how she's going to be sneaking around with high heels. So I guess with this one, um, they couldn't really get away with it. Um, I don't know what the fascination w with that is. But these are boots, so it's nice. It's nice to have something that uh, is a little bit more realistic. Mm. As you can see, the scabbard, chainmail, real leather, chains, uh, metal chains. So The blood stain is nice, nicely done, as you can see. And then you have the chain now there. Shading is a little bit overzealous. But that's okay. And then you have the giant's head. Man, this is so cool. Okay, and um, I guess if you haven't gotten your statue yet, um, this statue doesn't really lean, but um, if you push it a little bit to the front, it does lean some, uh, but it's no big deal. Uh, I guess because of her hair, uh, the weight of it is um, keeping her back some. So when I zoom out, you can see that um, the base is going this way a little. So it does lean to the front a little, but I wouldn't be concerned with that. Okay, so... This is how I would want Sonya to be displayed. But given the context of the uh, snow base, that's kind of unrealistic. Okay, so... Alright, so what I'm going to do is put the cape back on, and I guess I'll give you the, uh, the rundown and the score. Uh, this one is very difficult for me to score um, for several reasons, and... Uh, I'll let you know why. Okay, just one more time for you guys to see the face. The eyes should be green. Uh, for some reason, the paint or decals that they use is not green enough. But no big deal. You're not going to be looking at her face all the time anyway. At least not that close. Okay, it's nicely done. Okay, so let me put the cape back on. Oh, um... The other thing, as I had said before, it's very versatile um, with this statue because, for example, you have the cape, right? So you can just throw it down like she's just beaten the giant. She's lost her cape. Okay? And then, uh, you know, you can strung it anywhere you want, maybe the front, something like that. Okay, so that's where your versatility is. So when you put, display this, you you don't have to put the cape on. You don't have to put it away either. You can just put it like on the ground like that. Okay, so it does give you multiple display. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry, one more thing. All right, so I've put the axe hand back on. Um, this is what's so cool about this display uh, or the way that SciShow did this. It's like I said many times before. It's the versatility. And this is what I'm talking about. You ready for this? Right there. Um, this is what I'm talking about versatility. If you zoom out, see she's just killed this this giant, this frost giant, and her its head is laying on the ground right there. And what you notice or don't notice is this: the hand that's attached to it. When you display it, um, say from the front, you're never gonna see the hand. Okay, so again, this this gives you another display option. So this tells the story. She's just killed him. The sword is um, stained with blood, 
the heads down you can just place it on there okay and then she's dual wielding it's victorious suppose okay so you can do something like this with your display and then if you really want to go the extra mile you can grab one of these guys and when we zoom around you can throw the cape for example onto that so she's just beating them the cape's lying on the ground and voila you don't even see her hand anymore this is such a genius piece and the art direction is awesome on this you can do that and then uh, let me see I'll grab this one before it falls off or you can just place it back on top of that okay so that's another display option that you have okay so now let's go I'm gonna put everything back on and then we'll go for my um, my scoring okay so hang on okay guys uh, let's go to the scorecard the first thing we'll do is the sculpting itself uh, this is a superb piece uh, sculpted like I said by Tony Cipriano this is the same guy who did um, I believe Gambit and I have that one um, out of 10 out of um, sorry this is a definitely a 10 out of 10 I scope there's nothing wrong with it this is one of the best female scope ever um, it's done by a master sculptor and I don't I didn't see anything wrong with it um, you know other than the um, extra large boobs I guess but that happens with every other uh, female uh, figures that you get so there's no complaint here um, I don't have any um, thing else to say but 10 out of 10 um, and then the next thing we'll go is paint apps um, and fit and finish uh, which you know I guess include everything um, like the painting uh, if there's anything um, bad like you know googly eyes or uh, paint runs and stuff um, I did not have any paint runs on mine uh, the right eye on mine is a little bit red and the um, decal is not quite um, clean so I will be contacting SciShow for um, a new head replacement um, other than that and the big issue here that um, a lot of forum members have and I at first I didn't think I would have an issue with it but I do now that I've actually you know brought it home and uh, looked at it is that the paint tone on the skin is very it's almost ashen like um, you know it's not as clean as it should be um, you know I'm not asking for a supermodel clean but um, when you have a masterful sculpt like this and the paint um, you know it's kind of grayish uh, and it seems like um, depending on how much light you give it uh, the more light you give it the less grayish it looks if you have this displayed in a I guess a darkened room or a cabinet or whatever she's going to look very gray um, so I think they might have o overdone the paint and the shading it's just way too much and on mine um, the head I think like most um, statues that people on the forums have uh, said is um, the head is just slightly darker than the body like um, you know maybe different people in different lighting conditions over at the factory um, when they painted it um, that's how you're getting it but and the other thing is um, the base um, the snow in the base is kind of grayish it's not quite um, you know white like snow should be um, but I think not defending sideshow but I'll give them the benefits of the doubt. Uh, maybe they're genius here in that, you know, this is the North, right? She's just killed a bunch of frost giants. She's holding the head of the frost giant. They're probably near a mining colony, possibly. They're being attacked. She's fighting all night. Um, you know, the snow isn't going to be white. Um, you know, it's got rock. It's got runs on it. She's ashen looking because, you know, she's been in the coal mine fighting the giants. Uh, you can think of it as that way, so that way she's not clean, and you can see from her um, um, cape that, uh, you know, there's no way it's going to be clean. She's not a supermodel. Uh, so if you take the story that way, then yeah, this um, darker gray will work, because if you've ever been uh, in a mining um, 
I guess, colony. Those people aren't clean after a day's, you know, work. Um, so if you go with that story, then yeah, this is perfect. It's really genius by um, SciShow. It tells a story. It's not just a, you know, clean supermodel. But um, knowing SciShow and, you know, they're not exactly um, perfect. No, no what company is. Um, most likely they screwed up somehow and overdid the factory paint job and that's why we have gray instead of um, instead of uh, good old uh, clean look so but um, like I said this because of this paint maybe they're trying something new where um, depending on your light source it can look very nice if you have lots of light or it can look very dark um, if you don't have enough light. So it does give you versatility, uh, but it's, as you can see on mine, um, you know, it's dark. So, um, but I like to think about, uh, you know, the story that um, this statue tells that uh, she's been fighting near a mining colony. She's gonna get dirty. There's no way um, she can be clean. Okay, so uh, for the paint and finish, um, normally, if you go with my story, I would give it a nine, um, nine out of ten, because um, I still have some issue with the right eye that's got some red, and the head is slightly um, darker than the body. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, if you don't go with my story, uh, the paint app would be maybe a seven out of ten, uh, just because it's just too dark, depending how you want to buy this. And as you can see with the snow, it's grayish. Um, but like I said, you go with my story, uh, then this is a good 9 out of 10 paint app. If you don't buy my story, then uh, this is a um, 7 out of 10. There's nothing with the paint app, wrong with the paint app. It's just that um, you have uh, too dark shading. Okay, and the face, uh, it's pretty dark. So you're going to want a lot of light um, when you display this. Okay, so the next category we'll go into is the, uh, what are we doing, paint, sculpt. Uh, we'll go with the um, accessories or, you know, not switch out, but accessories in general. Like if, uh, for example, with those X-Men base, it's just an X. That's a horrible accessory. Uh, that's probably like average of 5 out of 10. But this is a very good base. Uh, you have a half broken shield there. You've got the helmet, uh, presumably um, worn by the giant. Um, and you know, the horns, it's really nice, nicely done. You got the um, snow on the, uh, some form of rock base. Um, you have two switch out parts. You have the, hand holding the axe so she's kind of like dual wielding we have the removable cape uh, really nice done as you can see with the uh, snow stain um, you have removable belt uh, with the scabbard you don't have to put it on but it's nice to have uh, you have the removable uh, exclusive head like I showed you guys before, um, you can move, remove the head, put it down here, uh, it'll hide her armed, and then you can put the axe on there, and then you can put, you can either do the cape on, or you, if you don't like having the cape, like, you know, I much prefer it this way, so I can appreciate the sculpting more. Um, did I mention the scope is 10 out of 10? So awesome. Um, you can put the cape, like, say, back here like this, like she's just, you know, killed the giant, she's hot and, uh, you know, thrown down the cape. Um, so with the accessories or um, your base, this has got to be a 10 out of 10. Uh, this is one of the best one. Um, it's not busy, um, but it gives you so much versatility um, to be able to display. And uh, you can go without the scabbard if you don't like it. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10. And then the uh, next category um, that we'll have is the, um, I guess we can call it uh, source material. 
Uh, that's basically um, how close SciShow designed the statue um, based on its source material, Red Sonia. So, um, if you read Red Sonia or you're aware of uh, her or if you've seen some comic book covers, uh, this looks like it came right out of a comic book. Okay, down to her chainmail um, bikini. You got bikini front, back. It's kind of silly because she's in the cold and she's got nothing but the uh, supposed cape on. But, you know, it's comic book. Um, so, you know, it's not too much of a stretch. Uh, it's got red hair. Could be a little bit darker. Um, it's kind of somewhat orange. Uh, but it's okay. Um, so this comes out right, you can say it comes right out of a comic book. The only complaint I will have other than the red hair is the eyes. They should be um, greener. You can not see it. Um, so, uh, you know, making it greener would be nice. But other than that, um, no complaints. So with um, the reasons of the eyes not being green enough and the hair is red but not quite red, uh, we'll go with eight and a half out of ten on this uh, for source material. Okay, so and the final category that we have is basically um, overall score, and this one is a tough one for me. Uh, and let me put on back the cape, and then I will give you my final tally. Okay, guys. Um, so after putting on the cape, um, we'll go with the uh, final score. Uh, this one's a tough one because the overall piece, I would say it's an eight and a half. I'd like to give it a nine or nine and a half, but I can't simply by the fact that the paint app, um, at first I did not have a problem with it, um, opening it in the office and everything, but taking it at home with less lighting than my office, um, I can't help but, you know, realize that paint app is a little bit too darkly shaded, like it's ashen. Uh, now I, you know, I can choose to believe the story that um, she's been fighting in a mining colony, so that's why she looks like that. So if you buy that story, then yes, this is a definite um, nine, nine and a half. It's just magnificent, as you can see, uh, with the cape or without the cape. Um, but if you're just looking at it, as an overall uh, statue and you don't buy the story that I'm telling you um, then because the paint finish is kind of weird like it changes depending on um, the angle which and the more like the lighting with which you view it um, then you know it can be good or bad um, so in that sense I have to knock off at least one point because without a lot of light, uh, this statue is going to look like it's, you know, it's just too dark. Too dark. Um, and if most people display it in a cabinet without actually, you know, having any sort of, say, um, a lamp on top or something like that, then you're looking at a very dark in uh, Sonia. And as you can see, the paint is pretty dark. Uh, today outside, um, it's an overcast day, sort of. Um, not, you know, summer, but this is the fall, so that's what it is. And the cape is just nice. So for that reason, the paint app is what almost kills this for me. Uh, and, you know, the head is a little bit darker than the body. Um, other than that, the scope is magnificent. Um, I can't really complain about that. The accessory is so awesome. You can just have multiple display. Um, but like I said, the app is what brings it down from a potential 9.5 to an 8.5. And, and, you know, if I buy the story about her fighting in a mining colony, then uh, yeah, this is a 9.5. But uh, if you guys don't buy that story, then uh, we're looking at an 8.5. But overall, a very good, um, very good statue. Um, it's a shame though. So, um, yeah, I think I'll be keeping this. Uh, if you guys are on the fence about returning, um, I wouldn't do it. Uh, you can always have it uh, repainted, which you shouldn't have to. 
Um, but it seems like that's the theme that's going on with SciShow's uh, releases. Um, but that's okay. This is it. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. Um, I should be doing some more now that I have nothing to do in the fall. Uh, and um, and I will, whenever I get, say, uh, Conan or something, uh, I'll break this out and then we'll do a comparison video. Oh, oh and by the way, um, there are many uh, Red Sonia statues uh, out there. This, I think, is the only um, uh, licensed one, quarter scale. Um, and I would say this is the best one that is available. Uh, so if you can only have one Red Sonia and you don't mind the um, darker shading, which I don't think is a big deal with, you know, you buy into the um, my theory about the mining colony and that SciShow is kind of genius for doing that. Uh, I would give them the benefit of the doubt, but they've done some stuff that's um, pretty questionable. So it's hard for me to, you know, give them that benefit, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, um, this is the best uh, Red Sonia that you're going to get. Um, yeah, I don't think anything can beat this. Um, would have been a nice, perfect piece if um, the paint wasn't um, questionable. Okay, so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.